Mike. I'm in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, and I'm super excited to show off this vehicle. It's a 2016 Ram Rebel. It's a Ram 1500 with the Rebel package, and it is just an amazing off-road four-wheel drive truck. So let's go ahead and check it out. Check out these 17-inch alloy off-road wheels with the Toyo all-terrain tires, open country. Pretty significant amount of tread there with the uh, off-road pattern. This one also has the air ride suspension to where you can raise and lower the vehicle. It's really cool. Right now it's in its highest position. That's the off-road position. So I'm really glad this is a white truck because it really emphasizes the accent here on the side, that gloss black accent across the side, and then the black wheel wells around there, which look really awesome. Check out this front end. Absolutely amazing. You got the tow hooks there on the front. Both of them really easy to get to. And that grill is just really stands out. And you got the Ram emblem really, the Ram name I should say, right there front and center. Really grabs your attention. You have the contoured bumpers here on the front. LED fog lights and halogen projector bifunction headlights. You also have a uh, an LED accent light there as well check out this hood design it's got those two now i've seen this before in other ram trucks but this is just just really comes together well in the styling in the new 16 rebel so here in the back we have powder coated bumper dual exhaust then you have the tow hitch there with the the, the outlets right here with the four and seven way outlets you got the rebel emblem and then can't help notice but to notice that big ram name across the back so this is what the key looks like it's a proximity key it has a lock and unlock buttons there remote start panic button and the ability to make the truck go into a uh, entry and exit mode which is the lowest position you can't really drive around in that position but uh, you can lower it down so you can easily get in the vehicle and it does have a physical key on the inside right here in case you need to use the actual physical key. So let's go ahead and start it up. Just make sure it's locked, completely secure. It locks the tailgate as well when you push the lock button. And so let's go ahead and remote start it and see what it sounds like with the 5.7 liter. Oh yeah, sounding good. Nice little rumble. Not too ridiculously loud, of course, but a really good smooth rumble with the chrome exhaust tips back here. So here's the bed. It has a five foot, seven inch bed. Looking all awesome. Now I would recommend a spray and bed liner to protect the paint and everything. But, you know, pretty traditional as far as the bed goes. It has places here in case you want to put those LED lights uh, that some of the trucks have. Then you have the tie downs there on the side. And the tailgate, even though it does, it's not assisted, it is very easy to raise and lower. So it's about as easy as raising and lowering some of the assisted tail, tailgates. Then you have your backup camera. Now this tailgate, I don't know if I mentioned before, it locks and unlocks with the key. So I can lock the vehicle. It locks this tailgate as well. And then I can unlock the vehicle with the key, it unlocks the tailgate. So that's included with the door locks. To stop the vehicle with the remote start, uh, you could just push this button, double tap it, and it turns it off. You also have LED tail lights back here as well, which we'll get into in a night video. So hopefully that'll that'll come soon. So the way the proximity key works, I'm gonna put it in my pocket and I can just walk up to the truck. Right now it's locked, so you can see the the lock there. All I have to do is put my hand behind the handle to unlock it and it senses the key position close to the vehicle and it unlocks the vehicle. If you want to relock it you just push this button. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Really awesome truck. So there's the inside of the passenger door. Man it's amazing with the white and red French accent stitching right there and then you have a really grippy pattern here on the handle which I haven't seen before in other Ram trucks and uh, and then you've got that red accent there 
really awesome. So the soft of the touch here and here, here. Um, this accent's not soft to the touch, but this is a hard plastic down here. But man, this is awesome. And I like the way it has a shelf right here. So you can put some stuff. You have the place to put your bottles, file folders or whatever there. And then you have this little shelf for quick access stuff. Really awesome. There's your threshold, your tools for your spare tires underneath the seat on this side. Check out the leg room there. The seat is way off the floor. So you're actually feeling like you're sitting in a nice comfortable chair. Then you have the uh, rubber mats here that are locked in place and they have the red rams and they have like bolt patterns, which is awesome. Nice rugged looking. Little storage pocket here. Power seats with power lumbar support here on the passenger side. And look at this, red accents around, but right here in the center, you have a combination of the leather and then you have this um, cloth with a with the same pattern as the tires the off-road tires i showed you before this is the same pattern that those tires have isn't that amazing looking really awesome this is just a really sweet looking truck so it has a handle here to get in and out of the vehicle and that's on all four doors not just this uh not just you know some some trucks don't have it on the driver's side but it actually has it on all four doors so you have this Rebel emblem, which is awesome, and storage pocket in here, uh, quick access stuff. I like the way it has two glove compartments. You have a glove compartment down here that you can get all cluttered up, which you know it's gonna get cluttered. And then you have this one here that you can have somewhat more <laughs> organized. At least that's how I would do it anyway. Then you have this little uh, pocket here on the side of the console is where you put like a full-size file folder. You have the privacy glass here in the back. So it kind of helps the sun from beating in on you while you're sitting in the back. And you can look out very easy. So easy on the eyes. So there's the size, there's the back door. Now you notice it's a huge size. This is a crew cab truck. So it has a massive back door, just about as big as the front door. Same styling with the stitching, the accents there. You even have the shelf and little place to put stuff there at the bottom. There's your threshold. Now here's your seat. It's a 60-40 split, kind of a bench seat, I guess you can say, with some little bit of a bolstering. Has the same pattern with the truck tires there on the seat as well. And look at all that room. I mean, amazing. Big rubber mat that goes all the way from one side to the other. You have the cup holders here. You have a power supply here in the back center with the uh, vents. You have vents, for climate control vents underneath the seats as well. Now this also has a cup, uh, armrest and cup holders here in the center, just in case you don't need a center passenger. You have some hooks right up in here. Black headliner looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. Doesn't really want to focus. Okay, so these seats lift up like so, and they kind of stay in place. You don't really have to latch them, but they just kind of stay in place when you, when you lift them up. So underneath the seats is a storage compartment on both sides so you have the storage compartment that you can put some stuff plus you have this fold flat feature just in case you want to uh, utilize this back space for cargo and now you notice you have it has this on both sides but you can have one seat down and you have cargo space on the other side this is handy for if you're going to a store you have somebody in the back seat you want to put a box back here because it's raining you don't want to put it in the back of the truck really handy feature here and speaking of storage space, you also have a place underneath here in the floor on both sides. It's like a little trash can, I guess you can say. You can use it as a cooler. You can use it as a trash can. You can pretty much put whatever you want in there. And, um, you know, it has this liner that comes out so you can dump it and clean it and put it back in there. There's the fuel door. It's on the driver's side, which is convenient. There's the, uh, the cap there and it has a little place to hang it, which is awesome give you another point of view here now if I overuse the term awesome is because I'm like super ex <laughs> I'm super excited and that I'm able to actually see a truck like this so if I go overboard with the terminology hopefully you'll forgive me so the heated side mirrors you can fold them out this way or in manually in case you need to do that so here's the inside of the 
driver's side door. Same styling as the other side, except for it has, has some more buttons. You have the door lock, window controls, side mirror controls here, and you have the power adjusted seats on, for the driver, of course, and, uh, and then you have the lumbar support. Now this goes kind of in and out. It doesn't really go up and down, but this is a, you know, it's kind of in the right position. I was playing around with it earlier and it's hard to imagine a more comfortable truck seat for me anyways. So your headlight controls are right here. You have an automatic off parking light and then headlights. And to turn on your uh, fog lights, you just push this button here. Your cargo light, which is in, illuminates the bed is right here. And your dimmer switch for your interior gauges is there. Now it has a tilted tilt column no no telescoping there's your floorboard plenty of leg room i mean if if you've it's hard to imagine somebody tall enough to uh to not be comfortable in this truck so to start the truck as long as you have the key in the vehicle you just put your foot on the brake and push this button take a look under the hood so to open the hood it's about as easy as it gets for a truck you just right here in the little bit to the right of center you just move this latch to the left and you just lift it up just ever so slightly and goes up the rest of the way by itself absolutely easy 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 so here you go it's a 5.7 liter v8 hemi v8 you have the insulated battery and the color cover design is a little bit different for the 16s so that's pretty cool even though it has a plastic cover you can actually see around the outside of the, the engine which is cool i like to actually see engine when i lift the hood i'm sure you do too okay here we are on the inside really awesome truck and i keep saying awesome sorry <laughs> you're just gonna have to forgive me this time okay so let's go ahead and start here on the steering wheel the steering wheel is a leather wrap steering wheel with some smooth leather on the bottom and check out that it has these little perforations on the top leather which is looking pretty awesome. Give you a look here. Smooth at the very bottom. So we have some buttons here on the steering wheel. Cruise controls here on the right. You can change through the gears right here. You have a volume on the back of the steering wheel back here and also a button on the center position that changes through AM, FM, satellite radio, that kind of stuff. On the left side, you have these buttons that correspond with the menu system, which we'll go into a sec in a second. You have the Bluetooth phone there. You can answer calls, make calls, use your voice recognition for all kinds of stuff. So there's an entire manual on that. And then on the back of the steering wheel is another couple buttons that you can feel. It's kind of hard to look at, but um, let me just kind of show you there. It's what they look like. So you have a top and down toggle button and then a center button. The top and down is to change to the radio stations or the, or the tracks on the uh, audio source you're using and the center button is to cycle through the presets so these buttons right here correspond with this center screen here between the gauges now check out the gauges gotta suck this in for a second and the rebel is a little bit different and more sporty than the other vehicles look at the font for the the gauges there you have a background pattern Really awesome. There I go saying it again, sorry. Okay, so right here in the uh, in the center, this is like a whole menu system here. So uh, let's kind of go back out, out of where we're at. So right now you can see these little icons here on the left. It's kind of, I'm just gonna kind of cycle through so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, there's your trip. You have a trip A and trip B, you have your fuel economy. Uh, you have your tire pressure. Now this is the vehicle info screen. You can go through and get more information. Um, your ground, your how high you are, air suspension is telling you where, where you're at. Uh, there's your transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil life, gauge summary, which shows you everything, and then your engine hours, and it goes, cycles back to your tire pressure. All right, so let's go back here. Up here, there's a digital speedometer, and that's kind of your default screen there. So, kind of give you an idea that there's a uh, little menu system with the icons there on the left, and you can, of course, you can customize this. Right now, it has a digital compass right here, and your uh, outside temperature there on the right. You can change that to other information if you want, but that's just the way it's set up right now. 
Okay, so here's your center stack. There's a uh, place to put some stuff there on the top center. Then you have your 8.4 Uconnect screen that has, it's very easy. Everybody says that this is, well, not everybody, but most people say this is the easiest screen, setup screen to use. So let's go ahead and start. This is the radio screen. You have your presets there at the top. You can tune through your stations. You can choose AM, FM, satellite radio. You can browse different genres of music there. And then you have your next icon here is your media, which is you're playing music through the sound system, but you're doing it through different sources, USB or auxiliary or Bluetooth audio or SD card. So lots of ways of playing music through the sound system. No CD player in this vehicle, so that I'm, I'm glad to hear that. All right, so controls here, you have a heated seat on both sides. You also have a heated steering wheel. You, have, you can check and look at your backup camera without actually going in reverse, so that's pretty cool. Let's go push the back button here. All right, and then your settings, all kinds of settings here. Um, you put lights, safety driving, doors and locks, um, all kinds of stuff there. Don't have time to go into all this stuff today. And then you have your apps right here. Uh, all kinds of different things like Pandora, you can play music through that, iHeartRadio, AHA, um, your phone settings. passenger seat heated seatings there all kinds of cool stuff you can also set this vehicle up as a Wi-Fi hotspot using once you register for the Uconnect system so awesome go to the climate this is where you can change your temperature where you want the air to blow turn on your seat fan speed now these are all redundant buttons you have other buttons to do this as well you can turn the screen off if you want to so in case you need if it's just distracting you and you can set up your phone right here and once you pair your phone, you have access to your phone book, recent calls, you can uh, dial directly with, with using a pad there, and you'll have like your voice record uh, menu your caller ID here in the center. You can have some favorites there at the top, and you can always transfer it back to your phone if you wanna have a private phone call. So here's your shifter, and it's basically the eight-speed automatic transmission shifter, which is excellent transmission. You can go in reverse like so. There's your backup camera neutral and then your drive and of course you can change through the gears if you need to using these buttons on the steering wheel here's your four-wheel drive controls you have a two-wheel drive four-wheel drive low four-wheel drive lock and then your neutral uh, there is for flat towing so down here we have your volume free radio tune through the stations uh, your screen off button back button four-way flashers you have your fan speed your temperature front and rear defrosters you also have your air conditioning buttons there so down here is your ride height control. So right now we have it at the highest height. So I'm going to kind of push it, and you'll see what it shows you right up here, lowering. So it's really hard to tell actually where you're... I mean, in the camera, you, you can't really tell, but in person you can actually kind of feel it and see it moving. It'll lower the front, and then the back, and then the front and the back, and it'll slowly go down. I don't know if you can notice that. And it'll stay lowering until it reaches the point, the desired height that you chose, and it will tell you what height it is when it's finished. It takes just a, you know, typically less than a minute. So there we go. So now we're in entry exit mode, which is lower in the lowest position. Okay, so we have your uh, traction control button here, your tow and haul, your heated seat controls here and here, and your heated steering wheel. Place to put some stuff is right here, and check it out for 2016. They have a place for your cell phone now, and it's, you can be any size cell phone. So my, I have the uh, Galaxy Note 4, which is a really big phone, and you know it fits right in there, and it's secure, and it has a little place for the wire to go out the bottom. So you can actually put two phones if you want. You can put it this way. It's just really awesome uh, phone holder, and it's very secure. I mean, it it uh, moves a little bit, but you know, not bad at all. It's definitely not going to fall. Then you have the storage compartment here, 12 volt power supply, cup holders, and look at this center armrest. You've got the stitching, the white and the red stitching, the embossed ram here in the center, and this opens up in a kind of a clamshell design, and then you have your kind of a flat storage space to put a tablet or whatever, cell phone, and then right in here is where you'll find your SD card, auxiliary input, and your USB, and you have a USB charger there on the right. Now this whole thing lifts up 
and you have a big junk drawer area so you can throw all your crap in there and get it all cluttered up and then you have some little quick access spaces here on the back just to kind of grab a pen or some change or whatever and you always have a place to have wires to go in and out here and on here on the sides on this other compartment so that way you can you know have something running in there and plugging into those uh, those ports there so here's your rearview mirror. It has a manual day and night mode, but it has an assistance button and a 911 button right here. So if the camera would focus on it. But anyways, the 911, literally this vehicle has its own cellular connection. So you can push that button. Even if you don't have a cell phone paired, you can reach the 911 operator, which is very, very good. And then you have microphones here on the top of this, the rearview mirror that for your Bluetooth system. So right up in here, you have your, this right here is for I'll show you your powered back glass. Isn't that cool? And then you have these tap lights right here. Uh, you can turn those on and off. Right now I have the interior lights all on. Let me turn those off. Okay. So we can always tap those on if we want those on independently. And your visors on this side has no... Uh, mirror or anything, but let's take a look on the passenger side. Yep, has the quintessential mirror for the passenger side. All right, let's take a look in the visibility, looking at the visibility of this time, not just the sliding glass. Now those headrests, you can actually remove those headrests. You just have to lean the seat forward a little bit and you can remove those headrests if you need to, uh, to get some more visibility, but uh, not too bad overall. All right, so there you have it. Kind of a quick run through. I uh, don't have a lot of time today with this vehicle, so I'm trying to hurry up, but just an amazing vehicle. And I'll try to do one in a little bit more, um, you know, detail in the near future, but just happen, happen to have an opportunity to check out this vehicle and happen to have one of my cameras with me. So here you go, here it is. So I'm really excited checking this vehicle out. So thank you for watching and thank you to Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Whiteville, North Carolina for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle and I'll see you guys next time. Let's take a quick peek at the window sticker so you can use the pause button to get all the information you want. And I did not have a chance to go through every little detail so this will kind of give you a rundown of the main features.